So, I have literally 10 minutes ago just finished reading The Glass Menagerie by Tennessee Williams. And I really, really liked it. It's a very short play, so it only took me about two hours to read. We're studying it in our English Lit class, and it's basically a play about a mother called Amanda, a daughter called Laura, I believe, yes, and a son called Tom. And they are all living in this one apartment. The mother is living in the past in this place called Blue Mountains where she had lots of male callers and loads of male interest. Her daughter Laura has one leg longer than the other so it's classed as a disability in this book. You can see the social differences in this play and Tom is a worker in a factory or a workshop where he just longs to get away and for adventure and travelling. And Amanda, Laura's mum, is desperate to get her a husband. It's kind of Jane Austen, Pride and Prejudice-esque with the whole husband hunting thing. And it's basically based around all three of them having dreams that are not fulfilled. Apart from in the case of Tom, who does manage to go travelling. C. Williams is a very detailed writer and his stage descriptions are very lengthy, but they are at the same time extremely effective so you will have something very small such as a character looking at something or a picture lighting up on the stage and it's just got so much significance underlying it and it's very well thought out. I really love that this play was extremely well thought out and also the way that Tennessee Williams uses a Brechtian kind of method to accentuate the main aspects of the play. For example, there at the beginning is a part where Tom, who is also the narrator, is talking about what the play is about, how it's going to end, and everything within the play, and the symbolic meanings of certain things in the play. So it's easier for the audience to pick up on these things. It's a really, really sweet little love story, but it's very heartbreaking. There's a certain moment between the male caller, Jim, and Laura. They've previously met at their high school, and it's just such a sweet moment. And he just, it's very courteous and very well-mannered, and he says something along the lines of, Has anyone ever told you you're pretty? And I just think that was just such a sweet moment, and he, he lifts her and he dances with her, and. He, oh, it's so lovely and then the soul crushing moment when you find out the reality of his position which I'm not going to spoil because you need to read it to find out but this book oh, I keep saying book it's not a book it's a play this play was such a lovely play and so short and so well written and so well thought through I would highly recommend it to anyone, and I think I'd just give it five stars. We're studying this, and I cannot wait to study it. And I don't usually get that with the books that they pick at our school, because some of them are pretty bad. But yeah, so five out of five for that, and hopefully it will be good to study, and I won't hate it by the end of it, which happens with some things that you study, because you find that when you study books, you end up hating them, which is really annoying. Because if you study a really good book, you'll end up hating it. And I don't like that. But, anyway, that was my review of The Glass Menagerie. So, I'll go read that. It's really cute and adorable and just amazing and very short. So, do it. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, go read that.